what's up you two how are you guys doing today on this fun sunny rainy day and uh, yeah we're gonna have to take this video inside because uh, my camera is not waterproof and I don't have the money to replace it right now so yeah I'll see you guys inside welcome back hurt oh my god that hurt let me show you guys what I just did do you see that okay that right there just I just smacked my elbow on that you see this does not give that's hard that hurts anyway let's try this again hello guys how are you doing my elbow is not doing good so yeah, we're going to talk about the binge eating disorder. And um, I know a lot of people struggle with it, and I struggle with it. And I still kind of struggle with it today. Not as bad at all, because I kind of know how to deal with it now. And I know when my like worst binges are, and um, I know what triggers them, kind of. So I kind of know how to avoid them. But yeah, it's a disorder and not a disease. And a lot of people get that confused, I think. Because, I mean, a disease is something you're diagnosed with. And that's something, like, you can't help. That's, you, you're, you have a disease. That's something, like, you have to take medication for. And it's, it's something you, can, you cannot help. And a disorder is something that you kind of build the habit. Like, you kind of, it's something you can break away from. And a disease, I mean, it, I mean, I hate to say it, but cancer, that's a disease. That's something you can't help to get. That's genetically you end up with it. And a binge eating disorder is something that you can get rid of. Something that you can work on, work with yourself. It's something you have to fix yourself. It's not something you take medication for. And But yeah, it's something that you have to work on. But a lot of people get that confused and they're like, oh my God, it's a disease, I can't help it. Yes, you can. <laughs> I mean, I hate to say it, this sounds blunt, but I mean, you can help it. It's your own fault that you eat the way you eat. I mean, that sounds bad, but you gotta accept that. And it's something that you have to fix yourself. But yeah, um, there's ways you can fix it. Like me, once, once you know you have a binge eating disorder, well, I mean, let's start with this. Let's start with what a binge eating disorder is. A binge eating disorder is where you eat constantly. It's like when you're at one sitting, you're you're at one meal and you just eat and then you you get full, but your mind is like I'm still hungry. So you go and get more food and then you eat it and then you get more food and then you eat it. <laughs> and I mean it's like an endless, I mean, it's just endless. You just keep eating until you get sick. And even when you get sick and your stomach hurts, I know me, I would keep eating. And I mean, I know that's crazy to think, like when you're full and like you just feel miserable, like you're full and you can't, you feel like if you eat another ounce of food, you might like throw up. But when you have this disorder, I mean, you eat until you're sick. And even when you're sick, you just keep eating. So yeah. It sucks. So with a binge eating disorder, you gain a lot of weight on top of that because you're eating all this excess amount of calories that you don't need, your body don't want, and in return, your body gets, it gains fat, you gain weight, and you feel like crap. So you may be wondering for some of you out there, do I have a binge eating disorder? And the way you can tell is if, okay, I'm gonna ask you a question. When you sit down and eat and um, you finish a meal, do you automatically want a snack after that? So do you want like a snack, something sweet, and then after you eat that snack, are you still hungry? Like physically you're not hungry, but mentally you're like, man, I, I want something else sweet. And if that's so, then more than likely, I'm not a doctor, but more than likely you have a binge eating disorder. Now, please do not think I'm telling you that just because you want something sweet after you eat that you have a binge eating disorder. Like, I'm not saying that. Like, just because you like sweet stuff does not mean you have a binge eating disorder. So please do not think that you have a binge eating disorder. But I'm just telling you from my experience that 
that's how mine started and it progressively got worse after that but don't worry I have you I got you I got you I'm here to help if you do have a binge eating disorder so when you're going through a binge um, like a binge is what I would like to call it so when you're actually in the process of binging I call it binging so yeah when you're in that binge state you need to realize that you're binging so that's the biggest thing you need to realize that you are binging and when you realize that you are binging then you can attack it right then so say that you're in the middle of a binge you need to realize that you are binging and you are not hungry you just ate and you don't need any more food because your body is full and what i would try to get y'all to do and i encourage it encourage y'all to do sorry about that i don't know why i can't speak today but anyway what i encourage y'all to do if you're going through a binge that you need to i mean i would document it so i would try to document it as in like the time that it happened like the time of day that it happened and um kind of like how your mind was when you were going through that binge like were you happy were you sad were you th was something on your mind or were you just I'm hungry <laughs> like so you need to I would say document it because at the end of the month and you've binged and binged and binged like you can kind of put that stuff together and see what triggers you to do that see I never did that and so I don't really know what caused me the binge I just know that it kind of comes natural like sometimes like if I'm eating and then like after I eat I know I'm full but I feel like I want a snack after that I know right then and there that it's a binge like I, I'm, I'm about to start binging but I don't <laughs> so yeah it's so I don't really know what triggers it I think different people get different triggers so that's why I'm telling you right now to like document it because if you can kind of figure out what state of mind you were in before you binged, you can maybe nip that in the bud. So maybe something's bothering you and maybe you're like eating out of like, out of depression kind of. So like when you're down and you don't, like you're sad and then you're eating, then that kind of shows that you eat when you're sad, you binge when you're sad. But if you're happy when you're binging, then like, well, I don't know, that kind of sucks because if you're happy and then you binge, that's kind of like, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe you should be sad, <laughs> I don't know. Like that's what I'm saying, like binge eating disorder is literally like, there's not a lot of research on it. So like what triggers you, like, I don't know. It's just, it sucks, I know it sucks, but you need to realize that you are binging and you, you need to just stop it. Like, I know that sounds stupid, like there's not some magic pill you take and then you're, you stop. It's about willpower. And willpower is what determines whether you're gonna keep binging or whether you're gonna nip it in the bud and quit. So it's kind of like if you are if you are a smoker, like I'm not a smoker, but if you were a smoker, a lot of people have trouble quitting. Not because it's a disease, just because that you're in a habit of doing it and you like it like when you're binging you like the food you like eating so i mean in the same in the same sense when you smoke and you're addicted to smoking you like it so it's kind of takes willpower to quit because you got to defeat that addiction so if you don't have a lot of willpower then it kind of it's kind of hard like it's defeating a binge eating disorder creates willpower because when you're able to not binge and keep yourself from doing it that shows that you are increasing your willpower and willpower you can put willpower into anything like owning a business fitness um, just anything anything that you have to work for and it all takes willpower so I mean really there's not a specific tip on how to stop binging it's really just a matter of do you want to stop and if you want to stop, you'll do it because you'll have the willpower to be like, no, I'm not gonna keep going on with this. I'm gonna quit now because I want to better my life. I don't wanna have this habit anymore. And you have to defeat that addiction by yourself. Like I can't come across this camera and make you not eat. Like that's up to you. And that's, and a lot of people get frustrated, uh, like 
Ah. I was doing good, okay? Like, I was doing good, and I had to mess up. But yeah, a lot of people get frustrated. I did it. A lot of people get frustrated because, like, there's not this magic pill. And I'm sorry, I hate to say it, but with weight loss, binge eating, any kind of disorder or addiction, there's not no magic pill. Like, it's just a matter of, do you have the willpower to make yourself quit or make yourself start? And with weight loss, I mean, it's hard. Like, I know, I went through it. The science behind weight loss is super simple. I mean, super simple. It's just a matter of calories in versus calories out. You burn a certain amount of calories a day, and if you're exercising on top of that, you can eat a little bit more, a little bit more food because you're burning more calories. So the science behind weight loss is super easy, but the mindset of actually doing it and keeping those urges away from eating these bad foods is the hard part. And I'm telling you, I went through it and it, it's hard, but when you get in your mind and your heart that you wanna change your life and you really want to work hard at it that's i mean that's the biggest key so basically like weight loss defeating a addiction like binge eating disorder was my addiction so the way to defeat that i mean it's you you have to be doing it for yourself and not for somebody else if if you're going into weight loss trying to please somebody else you're not going to do it because that's not what you want to do in your heart if you truly want to do it for yourself, that's when you will actually get off your butt, eat right, and go to the gym because you want to do it in your heart and you're not doing it for anybody else. But after you do start that weight loss, you start pleasing other people, not pleasing them, but people, other people see your hard work and it makes them, it's like a, a domino effect. It like you, you wear off on people. They see you doing good and they see you happy so it makes them want to better themselves. So I know I've been rambling on a little bit and I hope this kind of helped out a little bit for so, for those of you that are watching that, my phone, but for those of you that are watching, um, I hope this helps out. I know this is, um, I mean, it's kind of a video just that it was on my mind and I felt like I needed to put it out there because I want you, I want to be very transparent with this channel. I want you to know what I'm feeling and I want you to know what I went through because I, and my end goal is to help you guys. Like I want to help and inspire and help people defeat their addictions, their binge eating disorder, their weight loss. I want to get y'all, I want to help everybody. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and um, I'll have another video out about probably Thursday. So, um, yeah, I hope y'all enjoy this video. Let me know how you liked it. Um, if you don't mind, like. Uh, yeah, give me a thumbs up and subscribe and share it. I mean, I'm trying to grow this channel so I can help people on a larger scale. So, um, yeah, um, comment and let me know what y'all want to see next, and I'll be happy to do so. So, um, yeah, anyway, thanks for watching again, and I hope you guys have a blessed day, and I'll see you next time.